This is breaking news. Good afternoon. We are learning new information about three people who died, two of them, after leading law enforcement in Dane County on a chase and pursuit. Now, there are quite a few components to this story. Yeah, we first reported that chase last night, but a lot has happened since then. We want to explain what we know first. It all started around 520 last night. That's when a five month old was dropped off in the town of Dunn by 38 year old Alexander Grunke. You're looking at his mugshot right here. At that time, authorities were notified. Now, after that, McFarland police found that vehicle was driving, tried to stop it, and a pursuit started. Went through McFarland, Stoughton, and townships in southeastern Dane County. During that pursuit, several rounds were fired by Grunky and his female passenger. Eventually, police were able to disable the vehicle. Both got out of the car, and then a short time later, the police found that 13-year-old dead in the woods off Washington Road. Now, Grunky continued to run. He ran into a home on Ramsey Road. Yeah, that home that he ran into actually had a woman and two children inside at the time, and it sparked an alert from Dane County Emergency Management. Now, the Sheriff's Office gave us an update this afternoon. Our Tyler Peters was there. Yeah, Tyler, you have details about how this all eventually ended, and today the Sheriff says multiple deputies acted courageously last night. Mark, the Dane County Sheriff's Office established a perimeter around that house. Now, they also were trying to send out an alert to residents. They did send that alert out yesterday to people in the area to stay inside and lock their doors. We know that Grunky was heard firing shots from inside the house and he was not responding to negotiators. Dane County deputies were able to get inside the home and get the family to safety. The courageous acts of the deputies and the courage of the family is the reason why they were able to be uh, uh, removed from the house without further incident. Drones, robots, canines were all used to get Grunky out of the house. After several hours, he was later found dead by a self-inflicted gunshot wound. In Madison, Tyler Peters, WMTV 15 News. Tyler, thank you. We've also learned the third person we know is dead was found dead in Dubuque. She is the mother of both the five month old and 13 year old. Back here in our area, we talked to a neighbor in the town of Albion who says part of the chase last night actually went through his backyard. The home was caught in the middle as law enforcement tried to arrest Grunky. WMTV's Marcus Arsvold is live in Albion right now. Marcus, police are still there a day later. Right, you can see behind me, we've still got a Dane County Sheriff officer here blocking off Ramsey Road. Now down at the end of the street, that is where the home was, where this pursuit ended. Now I spoke with a neighbor who lives about a mile back that way on Washington Ave. It's about kitty corner to where this ended. Look at this ring camera footage that shows police running up to Tony Magestro's house. You can see at least four police cars pulled up to his driveway. Then officers ran through his backyard trying to get to the suspect. Magistro was not home at the time, but says a friend and his kids were using his home gym when police came up to them, carrying large guns, saying they needed to get through. Here's how Magistro reacted to seeing the ring camera footage, knowing all of this was going on near his home. So he, he texted me and said, this is all going down at your in your driveway right now at your house in your in your backyard is what he said i was a little surprised but nothing like i told you nothing surprises me anymore at all magistro did not stay at his home last night he went to a relative's home elsewhere which is the same case i've heard from other neighbors who were told to lock down for now live in the town of albion marcus arzold wmtv 15 News. Marcus, thank you. Now, some in Wisconsin are hearing the name Grunky, and it does sound familiar. That's because he was part of a 2006 case that made national headlines. 15 News followed it extensively. This is video of when Grunky was on trial in Grant County back then. You might remember this. We learned through the trial that Grunky, his brother, and a friend dug up a grave. His brother intended to have sex with the corpse. We also know Alexander Grunke is accused of kidnapping and interfering with the child custody case out of Iowa County. This actually happened earlier this year. We will continue to follow updates on this story. So many avenues that we're continuing to pursue to learn more. We'll bring you the latest from the News Now desk.
Also, you want to remember to download our app. We will work on all of these unanswered questions. We're asking right now how that 13-year-old died, what Grunky and the 13-year-old's relationship was. Many other questions unanswered at this hour. We will continue to try to get those answers for you, and we will post any updates on WMTV15news.com and, of course, in our news app.